The most popular feedback that we receive about Frame.io is that creatives know that it's built for them. Working in Frame.io is fluid and familiar. And when it comes to Camera to Cloud, our design and engineering partners not only built something technologically revolutionary, but it's also impressively simple. In this episode, we're going to demonstrate how Frame.io and Teradek have worked together to make it incredibly fast and easy to get your camera shooting right to the Frame.io Cloud. The first thing you'll need to do is connect to an onset network. The next step is establishing a secure authentication with your cloud device. Here we have a Teradek Cube 655 and authenticating the Cube only takes seconds to do. And once that's done, the Cube will automatically deliver high quality, low bandwidth H.264 proxies into Frame.io with matching timecode and source file name. Best of all, when camera record is triggered, even on an AC's wireless hand unit, the whole system just works invisibly in the background. Now the Cube 655 is a single channel device. That means you'll need a cube for each camera you wanna to shoot to the cloud. We'll start by connecting the cube to the camera. And what's remarkably convenient is that you don't need any USB or Thunderbolt cables. Cubes are triggered locally or wirelessly through the SDI protocol. So here we have an iPhone. I've logged into the Frame.io iOS app and we see the Cloud Devices tab. You can see the Cloud Devices tab on any paid Frame.io account. And you don't even have to authorize the device on the set. You can authorize a device with a phone anywhere in the world. For added security, whoever is authorizing the device must have permission to do so. For retail customers, you need to be a team member or above to activate a Cloud Device. For enterprise customers, only team managers or above can activate a Cloud Device. So now I'm gonna click on the Cloud Devices tab and I can see set up a new device. If I look over at the cube, it says, please sync device with Frame.io. So I'm gonna to go to my recording setup, scroll down to Frame.io and choose pair. The cube is going to obtain a six digit code and provide that to Frame.io. So I can choose 205, 342. Now the cube is getting authenticated through Frame.io. I can see the Teradek cube serial number and I can see the project that I am authenticating this cube to write to. Once I hit authorize, the cube is going to confirm everything and then give me a success. Once I do that, I have another level of security. I can choose a finish and set device expiration date. If I know the date and time that my shoot is gonna end and I wanna automatically deauthorize the cube, I can turn that on. I could choose a date for that and save it out. The next thing I can do is do a custom name. So if I choose the three dot menu and I choose rename device, I can call this CCAM. Now, once I have all this authenticated, I can set my cube to show me my frame IO settings here. And right here, I've got my cube authorized and I'm ready to shoot a take. So I'm gonna hit record on this camera. I'm gonna turn it to the crew and say hello to the crew that's shooting me. Hi. Hello. And now I'm gonna cut the device. So once I go into my media tab, I can hit refresh and that quickly, I can see that a folder showed up called cloud devices. When I click on cloud devices, it will always break everything up by date. So I have a date folder made and inside that I see a video asset. Inside the video, I see the camera C cam. And if I had three cameras here, they would all be separated automatically. I can click on that, see the asset and play it back and share it for everyone. I'm gonna turn it to the crew and say hello to the crew that's shooting me. And now I'm gonna cut the... There's actually one more level of security and control that we've added into this, which is called pause device connection. So if I go to my cloud devices, I can choose to pause these connections. So what this means is administrators with access to the Frame.io iOS app can pause an individual device or pause all devices on or off the set. So if you're ever capturing sensitive material that you don't want to be shared to the cloud, you can pause the device and then they can record to the camera and the local cube, but it will not publish those assets to the cloud. When I hit resume those devices, now only assets captured after pause will be published into Frame.io. The camera to cloud workflow is optimized for standard 4G LTE networks. You can use a commercial hotspot or create a hotspot with your phone. It also works over Wi-Fi and 5G. And that's where things get really exciting for the future. As 5G becomes more ubiquitous, it will certainly speed up transfers. But more importantly, it will become possible to move higher quality files at higher resolutions for both proxies and eventually original camera files. But this works with today's mobile networks. And what you've just seen is a real demo of the exact process in a field location. This is absolutely the easiest and most scalable way to get your camera shooting into the cloud with total security.